You just discovered Facebook ads and want to use it to grow your business. But you're stuck because you don't know how much you can allocate for the ads budget. This video will help you. Let's cut to the chase. Hello Hustlers and Entrepreneurs! Welcome to another video about Facebook Advertising. At the end of this video, you will be able to determine how much you can set aside for your Facebook ads budget. So you better watch until the end. Before you run ads for your business, you first need to determine some numbers that will guide you in making decisions. Number one is your revenue. How much are you earning per month, per quarter, or per year? After you have your revenue numbers ready, now decide how much you can profitably allocate for advertising to gain new customers. Typically, a marketing budget for any business is 5% to 15% of revenue. Newer companies may want to spend closer to 15% or even more because they want to grow aggressively. But let's say your company has been around for a while and you've got great revenue coming in. If you want to maintain or grow incrementally, your budget might be closer to 5%. So let's say your business is earning 100,000 pesos a month. So you need to allow 15,000 pesos a month or even higher if you are more risk taker kind of person. Because again, this is not a guarantee of sales, especially if you're doing this for the first time. The most important number to focus on is your cost per conversion. Put the number on what you can profitably afford to spend for every purchase or even just lead. You also need to determine what a strong cost per acquisition is for your business. How much money did you have to spend to acquire this new customer? Again, this number varies by business. If you have various products and services, your cost per customer acquisition may differ for those different products and services. Now, if you sell a low-priced product or service, you have to figure out the maximum amount you can spend to remain profitable. If you're selling a high-priced item, it's very similar but you have a little more wiggle room as long as your conversion rates are good. Now, speaking about conversion rates, this is another number you need to take note of. Whether you have a sales team or are selling something directly online, determine how many messages or calls you need to answer or make before making a sale. This is sometimes difficult to compute, especially if you haven't taken note of your past actions in a while. But a conservative estimation can do the job. In my standard, it's best to set 3% as the minimum if you can't just compute any other number. But it's best if you compute this as simply as you get the number of messages you received last month or in the past quarter, then divide it to the number of customers you had during that same period. So let's say you have received 5,000 messages last month and you had 500 customers out of that. So 10% is your conversion rate. And for this example, honestly, you're already lucky and you're doing your advertising excellently. Another number that is sometimes taken for granted is the lifetime value of each customer. You should not put your business in a place where you're wildly looking for new customers every single day when in fact, you have past customers to market to. I'll talk about retargeting ad budgets later in this video. I get a lot of questions about what the magic number is in terms of ad spend, but ultimately, it's heavily dependent on your expectations and goals. If your business is new and you want to grow to 1 million pesos in the next quarter, that's a clear goal. Using past industry data, you can reverse engineer that goal to determine how many messages you'll need what that cost per purchase will be, and how much you can spend to acquire one customer. Now, maybe it's not clear for you how much is that really. Perhaps another perspective that you can come from is your profit margin per product sale. Let's say you sell a product for 1,000 pesos and your profit for that is 50% or 500 pesos. From this amount, minus other costs like shipping, if you have a free shipping promo, determine the maximum amount that you can invest to get a purchase. Now you have decided that it's okay if you have only 300 pesos clean profit after all costs. So you still have 200 pesos to risk and have this amount on your maximum cost per purchase. Multiply this by how many products you think you can produce or ship in a day, then that could be your starting daily ad budget. Just note these additional tips I have for you. Number one, 
bigger budget doesn't necessarily mean more conversions. Facebook advertising uses an auction process to determine how much your ad will exactly cost. If you want to know more about the bidding process, comment below. Don't increase your budget significantly. That's number two. I recommend scaling effective ads from 20 to 40% a week if that still makes sense for your financials. Number three, allocate 20% of your budget to retarget your past purchasers. Remarketing is one way of reducing your overall ad costs since it's usually cheaper to acquire another purchase from your past customer. Besides, you have already established a relationship with them in the past, so a lesser barrier already exists. Number four, your numbers change from time to time. There's no definite value for each of the costs and numbers I have mentioned. Well, that's the amazing thing about business, right? It's unpredictable sometimes and it's exciting. If I mention something here in this video that's still not clear in your mind, make sure to comment below. I'll be glad to answer all of it and even make a video just to clarify it. Now that you have already realized your ideal budget for your Facebook ads, I hope so. See you in the next video. Bye.